Welcome, welcome everyone. This is Dee Varengia. And Danielle K. Howell. Hello. Oh my goodness. So excited that you're joining us. Now, you know already that I've got to do a mic test, an audio test, because y'all have no idea how long we have been fighting. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes! Yes, I just want to tell y'all that um, here's the disclaimer. I know that I said we were going to be on at 4 p.m. Eastern. It's five o'clock somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. We were late, man. We were so late because I kept trying to sign in and, and to do this. And so basically the program that I'm using made an update and I'm one of those users that update was made. I bought it instantly. Whoops. So thank goodness for my backup computer because <laughs> I'm able to use the old version and get it through. So Danielle, how are you? I'm doing well, Dee. Thank you so much for having me on here. This is awesome. Even though with the little technical difficulties, we made it happen. And that's what women do. We make it happen. Yes, yes. I know you ain't got to remind everybody. Everybody's like, oh, they are going to make this happen. So if you're watching us um, live, let us know where you're joining us in from. And yeah, we're super excited. So there's a couple questions that I have for Danielle because I've been watching her crush it. Like, Danielle, you literally just moved to Florida. What month was that that you moved to Florida? Uh, I moved here in August. August, August. of 2017. Mm -hmm. And you packed up three of your children? How many children yep. did you pack up? Three. I have four all together, but you I have packed four. up three. And you packed up three from where? From New York City, from a tight three-bedroom apartment in New York City. Wow. <laughs> and I moved to beautiful, sunny Florida, where I just sunbathe every day, and... It's been beautiful. A nice six bedroom house, four and a half bathroom. You know, it's just been a, it's it's been a remarkable, more remarkable ride. Wow. And, yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, I love hearing. I love just seeing people succeed. Like I'm never one of those people that's going to like see somebody succeed and then be like, oh no, what are they doing with their lives? Like I, I love to see people winning and it just means a lot, especially being a mother of four, having all of these responsibility, moving your children. So let me guess, right? When you started online, you just typed onto a website and boom, you were you were wealthy. Like that's how it happened, right? Like you didn't have to work. Isn't that how it happens? No. Yeah, yeah, that's how it happens, right? Like no day. Hey, no way. I mean, I tell this story all the time. How I struggled. Wow. Uh, I remember, and I tell you know I tell this story a lot because I want people to know that um, you know first of all, success doesn't come without first of all having a a desire. Right. That's the first thing you have to have. You have to have that desire. I remember in January of 2014, I was literally sitting in my car crying. It was raining. I was crying. I just came from work. I think I went grocery shopping or something. I don't know. I was sitting in my car and I didn't go in the house. Like I was sitting in my car and crying because I wanted to change my life. I was tired. I was a teacher at the time. I was a special education teacher. Um, I was going through I was going to school to finish up my master's degree. And I just felt stuck. I was in debt. I was over thirty thousand dollars in debt. Um, I was having relationship problems. You name it, I was having every problem. Like you know, and sometimes when you're in, when you're stuck, everything seems like a problem, right? It's like oh, problems everywhere. Um, but that's how that's where I was, you know. And um, I wanted to change my life, and so I couldn't do anything but cry and pray <laughs> at that moment. I was like, you know, there has to be more to life than this than going to work to a job that I didn't particularly like. It's not that I, you know, I love the kids, but I didn't like the fact that I had to be somewhere at a certain time, yeah. listening to a boss, um, you know, and, and I was a teacher, so I couldn't do my own curriculum. I had to follow the curriculum of this of the state. Wow, right? let us know if anybody can relate, wow. Yeah, and um, so, you know, so um, I was just, I was just, I, I don't know, I was just at my wit's end, so to speak. And I wanted to be home. I remember, you know, taking my kids to school every morning, you know, having that, that hustle and bustle. You know, a lot of us, we, we are trapped, you know, and one of my favorite movies is The Matrix. We're trapped in The Matrix. We really are. And, um, you know, we don't understand that every day is like Groundhog Day. That's another one of these movies that like, you know, every day is the same, same thing every day, every day. And you're not being fulfilled you know, I didn't feel like I was living my purpose. I didn't feel like I, I had any passion anymore. You know, my, my vision started getting weak. It was just like, I was just, 
uh, just a worker, you know, just a worker. I wasn't, I wasn't really contributing to society in the way that I wanted to contribute. And, you know, dropping my kids off every morning, they would cry. Mommy, I don't want to go to the after school. And they didn't want and I, it. Literally, my paycheck was just going to after school fees. Um, and I was just like, well, how can I change all of this? So it, it literally brought me to tears more than once. But I just remember that night in my car and I just started praying and I said, I just want to work from home. That's exactly. I just wonder how can I change my life so I can work from home? It seemed very bleak at the time, trust me, because I, I was in debt and I was living paycheck to paycheck and it just seemed bleak. Mm-hmm. But I started searching. I started searching on the Internet and it took me a long time. I mean, that was January of 20, 2017, uh, 2014. And I didn't really make any money until December of 2014. Um, but that was after I found a mentor and a coach and like, literally I, I, I struggled though. I struggled, I struggled, but it didn't stop me. Wow. I, was determined. <laughs> I was determined to change my life. Wow. So, you were determined. And will you say that that determination was brought by your circumstances? You were, you know, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Because, you know, my only other option at the time, because I wanted to pay off the debt was to get another job. That was, you know, that was my, and I remember telling my husband at the time, maybe I should get a second job. And he's like, what are you going to get a second job for? I'm like, hello, <laughs> we see the debt that we're in, like, wake up. But at the same time, I was like, I don't want a second job. Like, I don't want to be out the house even more so right. than I am ready, you know? And as moms, you know, I don't know if anybody's on here watching, if, you, if you're a mom, you know, like, the most important thing, I know that you're a mom, the most important thing is your child. Like, yeah. the important thing like and I literally all of my children were raised by strangers all, all, all four of them they were all in daycare I remember one time my son coming home with somebody's pacifier he didn't even suck on a pacifier I'm like why is this pacifier my son so these are the things oh. that we have to deal with as moms and you know um, and then when I used to hear my daughters my youngest daughters they was like seven and eight at the time saying crying mommy I don't want to go to the after school I don't want to go. Why can't you come to the school plays? Why can't why can't you be on the school trips? And I'm like, well, mommy has to work. And I was so tired of saying that. <laughs> I got really tired of saying those things. And I, I just wanted to change. I, literally, yeah, my circumstances. It was such a strong desire to change my circumstances that um, it lifted me to a whole nother level in my mindset. And even though everything looked bleak, I knew that I could do it. I knew that I knew that I, you know, I could do it. And then when I got online and of course I I stumbled and I fell for quite a few months, I didn't understand generating leads, you know, having a capture. I didn't understand any of that stuff. I was non-techie. I didn't have a Facebook. I I had a Facebook page, but it was just my, you know, my uh, coworkers and my family and my friends. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know anything about Facebook marketing. I knew nothing, <laughs> nothing. Yeah. But um, like I said, I met up with the right people. I started searching and, um, you know, I just came across some women that looked like me and I joined and I started getting mentored. I started getting coached. I started understanding awesome. what it took, you know, what it means to generate leads and to, you know, share your vision and your purpose and yeah. go out there and share your story. And I've been doing it ever since. And because of it, it has afforded me a great life. Wow. So you talk about this transformation, but it's very clear in your story that you were not a business guru. You said it many times. You came on, you stumbled, you fell. And so while you were stumbling, while you were falling, like what made you like you say the circumstances kept pushing you. But what made you not quit on that dream in the first place? Like what really held it together for you? Like, can you pinpoint what that was? Yeah, well, every time, well, I used to write down my goals and I still write down my goals, right? So one of the things that pushed me and still continues to push me to this day are my goals. And one of my goals, you know, back now my goals are different than they were back then, of course. Um, One of my goals back then was that I wanted to be home with my kids. Like that was my driving force. Every time I would look at them and I would tell them, I said, you know, mommy's going to make $10,000 a month, right? That was my that was my goal, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars a month, and I just stuck with that. And like literally, I remember when I made my first fifteen hundred dollars. When I had my first fifteen hundred dollars a day online, it was like amazing. And then I was like, if I could do this, you know, if I could make fifteen hundred dollars in a day, I yeah. could definitely make ten thousand dollars in a month. Yeah. So of 
of course, you know, I made my first $1,500 a day. I had my first $5,000 a month, had my first $10,000 a month. And it's been amazing. And what keeps me going now is to help other women, help other people understand that if I can do it, yeah. listen, I'm a high school dropout. I, my mom passed away when I was 15 years old. Oh, my dad yes, was an alcoholic and a drug addict. So listen, I have a, I have a, I have such a story, you know, behind my success and behind who I am. And I think that's what makes me who I am. You know, I grew up broke. My, we didn't have any, 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 anything. You know, we were on public assistance. And so um, I lived with my grandmother. And, you know, so that was who I was, mm. right? And so I just let my past help me to help other women, help other people on this journey. Because like I said, if I could do this, anybody can. Anybody, wow. like literally anybody can do this. It's wow. not hard, but but it's not easy. It's yeah. not easy either, either because you have to be consistent and yeah. you have to have your focus and you have to know what you want. You know, and I think a lot of people, you know, we get complacent and we get, I hate to say lazy, <laughs> you know, you know, I could have no, been lazy. Right. And just stayed at my job. I could have been lazy and just stayed at my job. Like, and I, and I, I know I'm not alone when I say I was over thirty thousand dollars in debt. I think that's the average probably debt for most families. Mm -hmm. You know, most people are in debt. You know, and they live with it. And it's like it's okay. Well, I'll just pay the minimum. No, I want it out. <laughs> I want it out. I didn't want to pay the minimum. Mm -hmm. I didn't want. I want it out of that whole. Yes. I don't know the box. I want it out of that box. Wow. Um, and I wanted to create something more abundant for myself, and that's what I did. Wow. I did. So when you talk about this space, right, you need time to do all of those things because this is a brand new space to you. So how were you fitting the time with three children? You know, I know you said you have four, but three um, that you moved to Florida. So it's like now you have these goals. You have this work schedule that you've got to do. You've got emails to write, videos to post. You've got a group to run. You know, you're building your business. You need time to watch the videos and educate yourself. So how are you finding that time and still being able to balance the home life? Because I know that there are many people with children and they're just thinking to themselves, oh, OK, I got to wait till my child's sleeping or I got to wait till, you know, they're off in college in order to start my business and, and start fueling these dreams. But what you're saying is, no, you saw where you were at right then and you said, I've had enough. And you literally were able to change that paradigm while you were in it. So how did you make that time? Ooh, time was like, I don't know. Like I barely slept, mm -hmm. literally. Like I would be at my computer all night some days, some days, and I was still working. So yeah. I would, I would, I would just like sleep probably like an hour or two a night. I remember, you know, um, when it, very early on, you know, someone told me that I needed a blog. So I had to learn how to create a blog. I knew nothing, <laughs> nothing about any of that. So I'm up on Blogspot and Blogger. Then I went to WordPress and I'm designing this blog. If anybody ever tries to design a WordPress blog, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I mean, I see you laughing. Like, you're probably, oh God, God. But I did it. And yeah. I, I, I sacrificed. I sacrificed sleep. I sacrificed, wow. you know, um, I was still going to school at the time because at the time I was getting my master's degree, even though that's a whole other story. I dropped out of that program because I said I, that's not what I wanted to do anymore. But I was uh, doing I was taking online classes for my master's degree and I was still working. And, yep, I had my three children at the time and I had a husband at the time. And yeah, yeah but I made it work and talk about balance. I don't think there a lot of balance, uh, you know, to be honest, like, you know, when you're starting something new, you going to get a little bit out of balance until you find that sweet spot, until you find, you know, how to put it all into perspective. But at the time when I was when I was brand new trying to figure all this out, I was behind my computer and I didn't have a coach. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have anybody. And I think that's probably the most important thing in your entrepreneurship journey. Uh, you know, to be able to connect with somebody like you, D, and, you know, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful for you and Justin and, you know, all the people that have come in my life. But when I first started, I didn't have, I didn't have, you know, any of that. I was trying to figure all this stuff out on my own. I, I joined a system 
And it said how to generate leads. So I'm watching all these videos. And I think that's what most people do. They watch all these YouTube videos. They're reading people's blogs. And with that, you can get a lot of information overload. So I was overloaded. <laughs> I was overloaded with information. I was overwhelmed. Uh, my head would hurt because I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I would barely have any energy to work you know, the next day. But yeah. even at work, I was just looking at my watch. Like, when can I get out of here so I can go back to home so I can get on my computer? Yeah. You know? <laughs> even though it was stressful at the time, it was a lot of work I you know I didn't know what I was doing but I was determined to get somewhere I knew wow. I was I knew that I was going to eventually hook up with the right people and I was going to eventually reach what I want to reach so balance at that time wasn't so much balance I was mm. probably a, a lot out of balance yeah. but um but I knew that it would only be temporary you I see? knew that that balance would be temporary that's but, that's well said like it's so well said because you're absolutely right. We kind of just like throw action haphazardly everywhere in our business. We're like, oh, I heard I got to do this. Like you said, right? Somebody mm -hmm. told you you had to blog. So, okay, all of a sudden I've got to design this blog and do this and do that. And it's like even the aspect of, okay, I've got a blog, right? You've got to design the blog. If you're using a, a um, platform like WordPress, you've got to know how to code certain aspects of the blog, right? You can't yep. just write it and post it. Now you've got to make it pretty, add images. It's going to take time to start designing all of that. You want people to be engaged and to stay there and actually read the article. So all of those, each and every piece of that aspect, they take time to learn. It's the reason why when someone comes to me and they say, D, can I make money today? Well, of course you can. I can make money today. Anybody can make money today. Danielle can make money today. Do you have the skills to make money today? That's the question that you should be asking. You know, because when we come online, it doesn't matter if you are in real estate or if you were like Danielle, a teacher, or if you were like me, a waitress coming online trying to figure things out. I remember um, how tired I was, you know, coming home and looking at the computer like this, like, you know, I remember that. I remember the nights where tears would start falling out my eyes and it's not because like I was crying. It's because I was staring at the screen too long. Right. And I and I was in the dark. So the only computer light, the only light was the computer. And so it's like when we're building our business, the, the, the we have to start asking the right questions so that we can start focusing on the right things, you know, balance. Right. If you are not placing action to your business you can't expect to make sales. You can't expect for people to reach out to you. Now you speak, Danielle, as if you know specifically who your audience is. How did you go about even finding who is your ideal customer? Where are you finding them at? Like, it seems like you're, you're doing good. Like you're sitting in your office chair, just swinging. So how, how are you finding these people? Because I know that there are women, there are people watching this live right now and they're like, D, I, I have not made a sale yet. I have not um, produced those results. Like you're talking about numbers here that there are people watching that they may have not have hit that yet. So how did you how did you get there? How did you find your ideal customer? How did how did you find them? And how are you able to like communicate with them? What what avenues are you using to communicate with them? Okay. Well, when I first started, right, because mm -hmm. I was still brand new and I was still, um, well, you know, in de by December, that's when I had hooked up with my, what I like to call my first coach and my first mentor. And, um, you know, we were part of a system and, um, you know, I had, I didn't have that, I didn't have any money. But I had previously bought an Instagram training. And so I always tell people, you know, this is what you want to do. You want to find a platform, use one platform mm -hmm. and work it to your advantage. So back then I was using Instagram. Yep. And at the time, because of this system that I was using, I was helping network marketers. Right. So my, my, my focus has changed a little bit since then. But yeah. this is where I started. And I was helping network marketers learn how to generate leads and build teams and things like that. Smart. And so, um, yeah, so I was on Instagram. And so I would just speak to network marketers. Boom, boom, we'll speak to network marketers. And I would start generating leads. This is one of the things that um, the, the owner of this company, which you were there as well, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, told us, you got to generate 30 leads a day. 30 leads a day will get you two sales a day. So that stuck in my head. And then, oh, and, yeah. And I know you, you know those words. And so when he 30 said 30 leads a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he said that, I'm like, okay. And at the time, I'm like, well, how can I generate leads? Because, you know, this is what I, I, I like to tell, you know, my students is that leads are the most important part of your business. If you don't generate leads, you're dead in the water. So, you know, I see so many people trying to sell their products. 
but they don't understand it. They have to generate the leads first. You don't you don't sell out in public. And you look at Facebook like public, like on our page right here. We, we're talking. We are talking to our audience, but we're not selling them anything. We're just giving them what valuable information. Right. And that's what you have to do. You know, when you are uh, marketing, especially at my, when I when I was marketing on Instagram, um, I did, wasn't doing any paid marketing. All the marketing I was doing was free. And, you know, and I literally I had a board and I was writing out how many leads I was getting. I had 10 Instagram accounts <laughs> and I went ham on Instagram I did this all the time. But because I wanted to take massive action, right? Mm. Massive so, um, so at the time, my audience was network marketers, and I started generating 30 leads a day, 30 leads a day, and, and yes, for sure, I started making two sales a day, two sales a day. But it took me a good 90 days, and I always tell people it takes you a good 90 days yeah. of, of pure, consistent, massive action before you can start seeing good results. Yes, I started making some money, but it wasn't until 90 days after that. That's when I started to have it. That's when I had my first $1,500 a day. I, you know, I made a nice sale, yeah. but um, that at that moment, you know, I was like, okay, this works, this works. So, you mm-hmm. know, it always stayed in my mind to generate leads. And my, my audience has always been, I mean, I work with men too, but my yeah. audience has always been women, you know, women who, who can relate to me. Yeah. Well, I told, you know, I, I run, um, you know, um, boot camps and things like that. And I tell my students, listen, you, who your target market is someone who can relate to you. You know, who are you? Who are you in essence? Like, what do what do you like? What did, what brought you here? Yeah. Why did you sign up for your program? Like, where <laughs> where were you at that moment? And when you tell your story, like, I, I know a lot of I get a lot of women and say, Danielle, I'm a teacher too. I want to get out of teaching, you know, because I tell this all the time. People know that I was a teacher. They, yeah. you know, they know this stuff. So that's how I found my audience by just continuing to market and continuing to tell my story. And the more times I tell my story, the more I relate to people who mm-hmm. relate to me because that's what's important. And you know, nowadays I do I do paid Facebook ads, which is great. <laughs> like it, it really frees up your time. Like, you don't have to post <laughs> an account. But yeah. um, you get to the point where you can I think, and I thank you, D, for um, when I went to your mansion mastermind, you told you you literally get, broke it down how to run Facebook ads, how to run video ads. And ever since that day, I've been running, you know, so you and you and Justin successful Facebook ads. On, uh, Congratulations. I love to hear that because that right there to me is like the true, the true key to wealth. When you were talking about like ma- creating wealth, stepping into abundance online for me, it starts there. Like for me, it starts there point blank. It's like, you know, I, I've run um, throughout the years, like a lot of traffic uh, with Justin. Like we've run a lot of traffic and It's like we've learned a lot about our audience. We've learned a lot about the type of people that we want to work with. I think when you first start in business, you're like, oh, anybody who buys my product is good. Like, you know, like you just want to make the sale. But Mm -hmm. as you grow and you develop your skill sets, I realize like at least for us, right, you you start being um, you you start getting clear on who you Mm want to work with. So yeah. much so that you're speaking to them in the videos. You're speaking to them when you write. The pictures that you're posting is to speak to those specific individuals. And it's getting to that point that, that will help you to see like that, that whole new level in your business. Because I know for me, that's what it was. It was like before, um, not saying that, you know, like, oh, you have to run traffic. If you have the budget to do it, then by all means do it, you know? Just think about it like this is how I looked at it, right? Like I, I worked a job. I knew how much income I was going to get every month. Like no, 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 like, oh, if I sell this, I make this. No, like what am I getting on a monthly basis? So I look at that number and whatever that number is, I look at it honestly and I say, now how much of this can I put to the side on a consistent basis for my ad budget? That's all that I do. You know, mm-hmm. I look at what I'm making and what can I consistently put to the side? And so for me, it's like I put that budget to the side, start, start building traffic, start building traffic, start building traffic. Why is that so important? Because my time is that important, right? If you're not building traffic and generating leads that way, how else are you getting them, right? You're out there marketing, building it. You're out there generating the leads, trying to figure it out, posting a video here, posting a blog here. It takes time to do those things. I'm not saying that it's not possible. What I'm saying is it takes 
time to do those things, to build it up organically. So there are a few tips that you can do, right? Mm -hmm. I know that I use these tips in order to build our business up to $30,000 a month. And there were a few things that you need to understand about why this worked, okay? The first reason why these things worked is it's because, yeah, the front end product was less than $100, right? So that means the first product that someone saw from us was $100. But the reason why we were able to build it up to 30000 is because after that person purchased that product, she's moving her chair. So after that person purchases their product for less than $100, they're upsold, okay? They were upsold another product, another product that costs more money. So that product was several thousand dollars. You just sell a couple of those, boom, $30,000 a month. But here's how we did it without the paid ads. Are you ready, Okay. So for those of you who want to make excuses about videos, I want you to pay attention to something, okay? For those of you who want to post an article and say, oh, D, this person says you don't have to po- you don't have to shoot videos. I want you to just give them six months, give them a year, and see how long till they start shooting videos because you are naive if you don't start shooting videos. And D, I'm not beautiful like you. I have something to hide. I can't be on Facebook showing myself. Nobody said you had to. There are so many different ways that you could shoot video that if you were to say that, oh, it's because of the way that I look, then you can go ahead and just crush that excuse right now. Because the first videos that I shot were showing my screen. I, I got really good at doing that. Why? Because the first video that I ever shot, I was terrified. There was a window behind me. I was sitting at the desk. We all know darn well, okay? And if you don't know, you're about to learn something because here's, here's what we know, okay? We all know you put light behind black people, we become very dark, like very dark. And I knew that, okay? So I turned the light on open behind me knowing that the only time these people could see me was at the end of the video when I said, okay, bye. I smiled. They could see my teeth. That was it. Like I was so nervous, but I uploaded it and I posted it anyway because I understood I've got to get over me, right? We can all tell each other excuses and tell ourselves excuses and you keep repeating that excuse and it sounds really good. Like, oh man, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. I told myself it so many times. But instead, I learned to program my thoughts differently. I learned to be more like Danielle and to say, you know what, this is what I want. How am I going to accomplish it? Because when it comes to placing ads, it's not that you have to have the largest budget. It's just that you have to think about it like you go, you open a business, right? You go and buy that physical, you buy that physical building, you hire employees, you pay the rent, you start paying for the electricity. It's like very easy for you to see because you have a physical building. There are employees that you have to pay. Physically see, you have to get into the car to go to that building where your expenses are going to. But you see online, one of the biggest pitfalls to online business is people can't see where their expenses are because all of a sudden I'm home sitting in my favorite chair and I'm just relaxing, you know, or all of a sudden I don't have to spend that gas. So I I negate the fact that I would have had to pay an employee to do those things for me. So I sit down and I try to figure out those things. If you start looking at your business like a true business, you'll begin to see what I'm talking about here, right? Because it all starts with first having that goal, having that vision, right? She said it very clearly. I wanted to get out of debt. What is your goal? What is your goal for your business? And if you go ahead and you write a number, oh, my goal is $10,000. That's not the goal. I'm, I'm asking you honestly, like to really think about this. What is your goal? Why do you want that money? Because I know very clearly what I'm going to do with 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, 100 million, 1 billion. I have a plan. What is your plan? What will that money do for you and the world around you? Can you get clear about that? Because Danielle, when you moved to Florida, you didn't just like wake up one day and you were like, okay, kids, let's go. Like, we got this. Like, how did that plan formulate? Can you show us that? 
Well, uh, well, me moving to Florida has always been. I always wanted to move, right? Remember, I was in a, I was in a three bedroom apartment in New York City. Mm-hmm. Both of my daughters, they, um, they shared a, they shared a room. Mm-hmm. My son had his own room, but they, sh- my daughter shared a room, and all five of us shared one bathroom, <laughs> right? So <laughs> just, just, just think about that, right? So um, I always wanted to move. I always told my children that you were, you're going to have your own rooms. You're going to have your own room because I remember growing up, I didn't have my own. Room. I lived with my grandmother. I used to sleep with my grandmother. And so all the things, I don't know, I, you know, all the things that I didn't have growing up, I was going to give that to my children. And I promised them that. And I promised them that it would be because of my home business, because it wasn't happening with my job. That's for sure. I lived in that same apartment for uh, 18 years. OK, so it wasn't happening. So, um, you know, fast forward, of course, I had uh, some relationship problems. I'm no longer with my husband. And, you know, I just said, you know what? I'm going to move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move where I said I was going to move. My sister lived down here and I told her to find me a house. Um, She did all my legwork for me. I worked with the realtor. She said, Danielle, you're going to love it. I said, make sure it fits me. Make sure my children have their own bathrooms. They have their own rooms. I want my bedroom suite. Like I literally told her everything that I wanted. She said, Danielle, you're going to love it. So I did everything I needed to do with the realtor, and lo and behold, I moved down here. Wow. And it was because I wanted to give my kids what I promised them. I wanted wow. to give, them. and I always, you know, and I tell my children, no matter what, if I, if your mother, <laughs> me, if I tell you that I'm going to do something, guess what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And so, you know, I keep my promises to my children because my children are my world. You know, it wasn't not just that I wanted to get out of debt. I wanted to be home with my kids. I wanted to watch them grow. I wanted to be there at the schools when they, when they wanted me there. I wanted to be home when they got home. You know, if I could take them to school, bring them back from school or whatever. Ooh, you are giving me chills. Like. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I wanted. So, you know, so that's what brought me here. That's what brought me. I needed a whole, I wanted to start my life all over again. I wanted to leave the path in the path, give my children what I promised them, and also step into my abundant future, which I know that I deserve and which I should have had, you know, a long time ago. But I let fear and I let, you know, circumstances keep me stuck. But I decided I can't be stuck anymore. And And when I made that decision, like I said at the beginning of this live, everything is about decisions. Everything, everything that we do. I was doing a webinar the other night and I said, you know, people say, you know, they're poor because they pass over opportunities repeatedly, right? They pass repeatedly. So how many times can you pass? That's why you're poor, right? P-O-O-R. How many times can you pass over an opportunity? You know, at at some point you got to wake up and you got to be like, you know what? I'm not doing that thing anymore. I'm not doing that thing anymore. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go by faith. I'm going to work my behind off and I'm going to do what I've been what, what I've been shown to do. You know, I mean, people didn't come into my life. People like you and Justin and so many other people. You know, I can I can name a whole bunch of names. Chris, right? I mean, I can literally name name so many. You know, wonderful, wonderful marketers that I've been following since, you know, since December of 2014. Then you guys have literally showed me the way. And, you know, either whether it was one on one, you know, whether I was at a mastermind or whether it was through your videos, whether it was through your content. And I take that and I apply it to my business. I don't just watch it and be like, oh, yeah, that was good. No, I, I apply it. <laughs> you know, I apply it. And when you apply and when you step into who you are, really are, right, we are real, all, all abundant. We're abundant beings. When you step into that, into that role and you become, you know, who you who you have been chosen to become, you you can do some remarkable things. You can do some, and I'm you know I'm, I'm, I I consider myself a very spiritual person, and I know that you know we are we are abundant, and we are here to do great things, great things, and our outside you know should reflect who we are on the inside. You know who I was in that tight apartment. That wasn't me. You know I was there. But that was that wasn't me. That was who I was attaching myself to my, you know, to my little girl in their being, you know, who, the little abused girl that was there. No, I had to move from that. Yeah. So, you know, I moved to Florida, um, you know, and I love it. I literally have a, a lake right in front of my house. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, I step out of my home. It's beautiful. The weather. This was the first Christmas <laughs> that it was warm. I'm like, you know, like, yes. I just can't stop smiling being down here. Like, you know, and 
And it, it's just wonderful. And, you know, I had somebody in my webinar tell me the other day, she emailed me because I was talking about, you know, what I've been able to do. And she said, you lost me because you were just talking about um, all your material stuff. And I'm just like, well, hello, you must have, you must not stay on the webinar because I talked about my abuse. I talked about all the things where I came from. So, you know, yes, I enjoy my material stuff. And I think that's why a lot of people stay stuck. They don't want the material. They don't want it. They, they say they want it. But let me tell you something, there's nothing wrong with having material things. There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong. You the more money you make, you should you should you should live a luxurious life. That's what I believe. One yes, of my spiritual mentors, Reverend Ike, I listen to him religiously. He says, You you should be rich. You know, we you should be. You hey. know, there's, there's no nobility in being broke. Okay. <laughs> like who wants to be broke? Mm. Who wants that? Broken your mind, always complaining. You're broken your your health. You're broken your spirit. Who wants to live like that? Mm. But that's the norm for so many people. Yeah. So when you start talking about, you know, I moved here, I have a house, or whatever, you know. But no, but I lived in, in a bed in a in an apartment for 18 years. My, you know, I I, my, I lost my mother when I was 15. Why can't I have a house? Why can't I live across the street from a lake now? Exactly. And you can do it. Too. You know, I don't say it to brag. I say it because I want to let people know that this girl that, you know, was an orphan at 15, that was a teenage mom, dropped out of high school. If I can do this, so can you. Absolutely. So can you. You know, so that's that. That's what I, you know, and, and, and when I speak about this thing, it makes me, first of all, it makes me happy, but at the same time, it makes me aggravated because I'm like don't look at people like that you know I love when sisters can come together like D and I here you know we're not here for competition we're here because we love each other and we want to share some knowledge with other women out there other women that look like us that been through things like we have we have stories you know we have stories that we are that's why we're here and we are in a male dominated industry (laughs) you know what I mean like I always say this is a very male dominated industry but we're here to change that we're here to change that. We're here to touch more women, touch more lives, so that there, more women can be home with their children. This is the best. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for anything more. And and now, because I'm in the situation where I am now, I just want to give back. I just want to give back. You know, I'm so thankful that I just, um, you know, locked arms with another mentor of mine. And we're going to be giving back. You know, this is going to be part of our part of our mission is to start finding charities to give back to. You know, that's what it's all about. When you make money, you can make a difference. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember when I, you know, because I I run a lot of traffic. Like, you're talking Mm -hmm. about, like, some months, you know, the traffic bill can be anywhere from $30,000 to six figures. Like, it just depends upon the offer and how well it converts and what we're doing and testing, right? And I remember I used to get emails from women and some from men who used to say, like, oh, well, you can do this because you are you or because you you marry Justin. And it's like, uh, y'all thought Justin was born with a laptop? Like, no, he's just like us. Like we all had to start from somewhere and figure it out. I remember getting emails from people because I, you know, it's like, I'm excited, I'm in love. I, I send them a picture of me and my husband and they write back to me and they're like, well, you married into money, so so... You know, how can you help me? Well, er, when did I ever say I married into money? Where, where's that Justin at? Because that, that is not the Justin I found. Like, you know, I found the Justin who is dedicated. I found the Justin who is diligent. I found the Justin who is disciplined, right? Mm-hmm. Disciplined on a whole nother level, right? So when you talk about that man, yeah, that, that's the person that I can relate to. That's the people that I can speak to, the people who can look at us and say, okay, I know that there's a story there. Okay, I know that there's more there. You know what? I know that everybody starts from somewhere. And that's who we're talking to. Because, you know, there's so many aspects to building and running your business online. Having that support, being able to reach out to people is invaluable. So let's talk a little bit more about crypto, right? Because we're changing people's lives. I know that I'm, my goodness, like cryptocurrency is revolutionizing <laughs> so many different industries. And I know that there are people just like you, Danielle, there are people just like me. And we're like, where do you start? Like, you know what I mean? They hear of the big numbers. They see all of that that's going on. So it's like for you, before you even got started, right? What opened your eyes to it? And what's your biggest piece of advice for someone who's looking to get into cryptocurrency? 
Okay. Well, before I got into cryptocurrency, I had heard about it. I heard Bitcoin, Bitcoin, but I didn't know what Bitcoin was. I thought, you know, you had to have a coin. I, I had no clue what it was. No clue. Like, I was totally like, oblivious to what Bitcoin was. But it wasn't until I got an email from Justin. When I saw Justin was doing it, I said, I'm in. Like, literally, you know, you guys, when you do something, I'm in. Like, you know, if I can be there, I'm there. Like, I can't wait to see you guys in the next couple of weeks. But, um, yeah, so I got an email from Justin, and I got started right away. And, um, you know, we I had some really great, I mean, income. Whew, I mean, through the roof. Like, I, you know, really, really quick, fast that income. But my advice is this, right? Um, because we've seen some yeah. we've seen highs, we've seen some lows with cryptocurrency. Right. And, um, you know, so my advice would be to do your research, right? Do your research and to hook up with people who you know who's been, you know, at this for a while, you know, mm. who's been in the in the game. I would say at least at least six months. Don't don't look up with somebody that's been like, you know, oh, come over here, come on. Because there's a lot of scams out there. Mm. There's a lot of um, you know, uncertainty. So yeah. and if you are someone, I'm gonna say this, if you're someone who's afraid of losing money, don't don't invest in cryptocurrency. Ah, you know, good advice. It, it's up and down, right? And if you're like, oh my gosh, like I get messages, oh my gosh, they yell, uh, Bitcoin is down under nine thousand dollars. I'm like, Okay, so hodl. Like, Bye. You, know. <laughs> you said hodl, I started hearing the beat. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, know. you know, so, um, but that, you know, that, so, I, you know, if you have that kind of mindset where you're afraid of yeah. losing anything for a living, and if you know what we know about cryptocurrency, what we've seen is that it goes up, it goes down, but it always comes back up, you always. know, so. Um, so we have to we have to look at this as and I've never invested before. I've got to be honest. I've never invested in the stock market. You know, I wanted to get into real estate. Never, never did it. I probably will soon. But, you know, I've always wanted to invest. And to me, I look at cryptocurrency as, an, as a type of investment. Mm-hmm. And, and with like with any investment, you have to you have to wait it out. You can't sell it when it's low and then buy it. <laughs> so this is what yeah. I'm, learning. I'm learning a lot about cryptocurrency. Um, I'm learning about trading. I'm learning, you know, not to put all of your eggs in one basket. You know, diversification. This is all the stuff that you need to know about cryptocurrency because I believe that cryptocurrency is the new currency. It will. It is the wave of the future, and I think that everybody will be using some form of cryptocurrency as a form of money. Like absolutely literally. no. I I I absolutely 100% agree with you. Like there's no doubt in my mind at all, especially as people learn about the technology and they learn about blockchain, what that technology is, what it's capable of, they'll begin to like open their minds to how big it truly is. And so that's why I think like what you said, like doing your research is paramount. So what if someone's interested right now? I think what we can do is go ahead and type the word crypto in the comments. I know some of you are watching this from my feed. I've also shared it inside of the women's circle and I know Danielle's got her feed. So if you're not already working with us, go ahead and type the word crypto and uh, we'll share a free course with you that that way you can educate yourself and then you can start moving into the right direction because you can't really um, make any decisions in the investment world in any niche without educating yourself first. Like you can't expect for somebody to tell you like, what's that hot thing? And you're just going to go profit from it. Like, that's not how it works. It works with first educating yourself. And so what I think we should, you know, close this out with is talking more about the power of live events. Uh, First of all, Danielle, I just want to say thank you for being here. I really appreciate your time. Uh, Danielle and I were supposed to be on at four. (laughs) <laughs> at four and well th- it just did not happen like that technical difficulties but like I said thank goodness that I've got you know three laptops well I have four laptops and the old one one of the old ones was running that old version of the program I was like thank you thank you thank you internet gods because I'm the type of person when I download a new program I'm like oh, let me do it on all my computers but I bought this laptop while we were in California visiting some friends and I hadn't had the opportunity to like download everything on it thank goodness thank goodness so this this one's got it so yeah right Write crypto down below and we'll share with you uh, the free course. Thank you so much, Winsome, Aja. I see you all typing it. Now, 
I want to talk more about the power of live events because the nature of what we do online, you know, you're watching videos like this, you're reading courses, you're watching training videos and seeing all of that. It's really important to actually get in the room with these people, to meet my husband and I, to meet Danielle, hear our stories in person. Because I know in my own business, like I'm going to tell you just honestly, like honestly, here's how um, my mindset shifted when I got to an event. Okay. Because before I went to an event, like if, and I'm just, I'm just like keeping it 100 with you. Like this is just where I was at. Okay. So I get to the event. Okay, now you can hear me. Sorry about that. So I knew that money could be made and I believed in the fact that money could be made. But when I first got to this event, this was like my first ever like experience, like meeting these people who were in the videos or like, you know, seeing the stages and shaking their hands and all of that stuff. Right. So I went ahead and updated the audio. Okay. Kiata says I can hear you now. So I, I went to this event like totally, totally skeptical, like being real with you. Like I remember thinking to myself, like, man, I ain't got time to go to this event. I could be home building my business. Like, what am I doing here? Like, you know, like, like seriously, the, I was making so many excuses. Whatever happened, get to the event. I remember when I got to the event, okay, and I was sitting in the back of the room. And I was so nervous, like, like, I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't want like, I don't want to like, like interact, like, like, no, I'm just going to sit here at this event. You want me to go to this event? I am here. Like, you know, like Justin drags me at the time. So I was just like, okay, I'm here. So I remember like sitting there and I remember like hearing the first person's story and I was sitting like this, like, you know, kind of like, oh, I got to pee, like, but whatever, you know, like, <laughs> just like, okay. So I heard like the first person's story and they were talking about like their life and it's like, you know, oh, they came from money. So it was like, oh, okay, that's nice for you. So you took some of the money that you already had and invested it. Okay, that's cool. Well, I ain't got no money, so I don't relate. Like, you know, like I just, I just kept it going. And next person, you know, they share their story and they're like, I was in real estate and made millions of dollars. And then I came here and made millions of dollars. And it was just like, oh, OK, that's nice for you. OK, but that's not my story. And then come on stage and I hear the story from a woman who was just like me. She had no experience in business. Um, she went to university. I did not. I quit twice. You know, I went two different times for two different things. I ended up quitting both times. I was like, this ain't for me. And I left like running. And, um, you know, so she, she had went to university. She had no business experience. And I remember hearing her story. I remember when she spoke about, you know, finding her mentor and how she got, she made sure like didn't matter what she had to do she made sure to get to that event. I remember hearing that. And I don't know what it was, but there was like a break right before, like right after she had spoke, like to go have lunch, things like that. And I already had in my mind, like I was going to go up to my room. I was not coming back down for the rest of the event. Like y'all can't make me. I heard her story and it was like, like that was the, the best thing that could have ever happened in my career. That was the best thing that could have ever happened in my career was to hear someone's story who was like me. And so that's why I'm always going to tell you, share your story, share your story, share your story, because your audience needs to hear it. Because you don't know whose life will literally shift because you decided to open your mouth and speak your truth. You have that power to speak life into people. You do. But first, you've got to open your mouth. And I'll never forget, like I ran, like I, I ran to the stage in order to go and meet her. When she was coming off the stage, I was there. 
And I remember feeling like all nervous and there was like a bunch of people around who knew her already. And, you know, she was giving them hugs and I was like, I don't know her. And now I'm starting to get nervous and I'm starting to like shrink behind the crowd. And I was like, oh, I just can't do this. And she saw me. She's the reason why till this day, when you all like come and introduce yourselves to me, it doesn't matter if there's one person or if there's 10 people, I make it a point to look at who was waiting. She's the reason why. Because after all those people left, she noticed me. She noticed me. And she made it a point to stop and to say hi and begin to talk with me. And she was sharing like some tips and ideas. And I remember thinking to myself, wait a minute, my husband needs to hear this because my husband is the one who does that, that aspect of the business. He needs to hear this. Do you mind if I go get him? And she was like, yeah, sure. So I went and grabbed Justin and um, yeah, so I went and grabbed him. And I remember like introducing them and being like, oh my goodness, this is what she does. Da, 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 da. I remember my husband going to a cruise, okay? And he got onto that cruise, a traditional network marketing company, because he had gotten, he had reached a certain rank. So he got onto that cruise. And I remember the story that he told me when he came back. Right. Because there was a top income person, like one of the top income leaders, like on the top of the charts every single time that guy was there. And so my husband was so excited because he got to meet him and he remembers seeing the man and, and he just came back from like having a skiing accident. So literally like his front teeth were like gone, like just gone. And Justin was like, yo, like, how do you do like there's not enough hours in the day for me to talk to that many people. How do you do it? And the man doesn't give Justin a formula. Nah, he doesn't give Justin a, a roadmap. He doesn't say, oh, go buy this particular tool and go do this with it. He doesn't say that. All he said was one word. The Internet, man. He probably said, bro, like the internet, bro, <laughs> you know, you know, guys, like they, they probably said, bro. And so he remembered that. And all of a sudden he came back home and shared with me, we can do this online. What do you mean we can do this online? Like, are you sure? Like, I don't know. Like, I, you know, I don't know really. Yes, I'm sure. I don't know how, but I know that we can figure this out. And so that's my message to you today. It's like you can try and figure things out for yourself. And that's cool. That's real great, right? Or you can be like Danielle. You can connect to the right people. You can be like me. You can show up to the event talking about, y'all can't make me. I don't believe it. I am so skeptical. This is not real. Wait a minute. Wait, she started from nothing just like me? Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me stop. Let me just be humble real quick. Because you notice that, you cannot know everything and be humble at the same time. You realize that, right? You cannot know it already and be ready to learn something new. You have to choose one or the other. You have to choose. So Danielle, you made it a point to buy your ticket to the event that's coming up in a few weeks here, February 24th and 25th in Tampa, Florida. Here live, I did not tell you that I was gonna ask you this, why? Why did you get your ticket? Because I know the power of events. And I know, you know, every time I get around you, Justin, and all the people, I saw the lineup of the people, but I, I didn't even have to see the lineup of the people. I, even if it was just you and Justin, I would have been there. Because um, this is not my first time, you know, coming to one of your events. And I've been to, you know, I've been, I've been to your Mansion Mastermind. And I've been to events, you know, when I first started um, like I said, in that 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 um, in that business in December 2014, that was the first thing that I heard that you got to get to events besides during 30 leads a day to make you sell. <laughs> yeah. You got to get to a live event. You got to get to an event. If you don't get to an event, you're not serious about your business. You got to get to an event, and an event will help you. Will help you uh, put more money in your pocket every single month. Every, your, your your income will grow. These are the words that I that I heard in my in my head. You know about what that was being told to us, and I was yeah. like. I got to get to an event. I got to get there. I've never missed an event ever. Like no matter what, uh, if, you know, if it's affiliate marketing product, whatever it is I'm doing, wherever I am, whatever business, uh, business venture that I'm a part of, if yeah. they have an event, I'm there. I'm yeah. there. 
because you always, you learn something new. I was at an event a couple months ago and, um, quite, quite a few months ago. And, um, they, it was, you know, it was an event and I learned one thing, one thing mm. that actually helped me increase my conversions with my, with my business. One oh, thing out of the whole three day weekend, <laughs> it was like, but even if you just learn one thing, that one thing can can triple your income. It can quadruple. You just, you don't know the connections that you make. I would have never met you, D, if I wasn't at events. I would have never, you know, it's like yep. the people that you meet, the connections. Um, I mean, you, you can't, you can't put a price tag on it. You can't, you learn, you learn and you implement and you connect and, you know, you break bread and it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, and um, I wouldn't have missed it for for anything. So yeah, as soon as I saw that, I got the VIP. (laughs) (laughs) You are awesome. No, that's that's really what I wanted to ask you because it's like so many people. We we can make excuses, right? I know that I was making an excuse before my husband dragged me to that event. I'm like, why do we need to go? Just tell me about it later. Like, I, you know, like I, I was like, oh, I have so many things to do. But it's like, yo, you you there's shifts that you want to make in your life. You have to get up from where you currently are and go and get that information. I didn't realize that that process within itself was a test, because if I wasn't willing to get up and go get it, I could not receive it. I could not experience. I could not live in it. So I had to test myself. That was like, that was like the universe, God, like that was my test. You know, that was my test. It was like, oh, you want to be great? That's cool. Come and get it. That was me. That was my test. It was like, oh, you want to make money? Come learn how. You want to build a profitable business? Well, learn from the people who are doing it. You can sit there and figure it out on your own or you can start doing But you can't do both. You know, you have to choose a side. And so I just I choose the side that made more sense for me, (laughs) made more sense for my goals. And I'm really, really honored to connect with women like you, Danielle. You know, the goal here, it says free 100 families. That's our goal. You know, I'd love to share with you an opportunity that you can join this system, actually get access to the course. That way you can start learning about cryptocurrency, because my whole thing, like, does it matter what I'm doing all that you have to know is it's about freedom that's all that it's about every single time it's about freedom my only intention is to help you set yourself free i want you to start living your life like danielle she says you know what i want to move let me call my sister and help tell her to help me find a house and then what she picks up and she moves but that's a woman that's a woman with on a mission you know that's a woman with purpose That's a woman who is disciplined. That's a woman who tells herself something and then she actually believes what she tells herself. So, ah, all of a sudden it's, it becomes important what you tell yourself over and over again, right? Ah, then all of a sudden it becomes important with who you surround yourself around, right? All of those things begin to matter. My name is Dee Varengia. This is Danielle K. Howell. And if you don't have her added as a friend, go ahead and add her now. I just want to thank you for joining us. Danielle, any last words? Thank you. Um, last words for anybody who's watching and listening is that you can do whatever you put your mind to, but Powerful. you can't do it alone. You do need somebody, people that you got to hang around the right people. You've got to connect with the right people because it'll cut your learning curve and it'll just, it'll it's just, it'll just, take you to a whole nother level when you are connected to people who are where you want to go. That's, that's what you have to do. So, but you can do it. You can do it. If you wow. really have to fly, you can do it. Wow. Thank you so much, Danielle. And if for more information about crypto, go ahead and just type crypto into the comments. And if you're on Danielle's profile or you're on mine, um, we'll check it out. If you're in the circle, we'll see the comments. Um, and yeah, just thank you so much because, you know, my goal here is to free a hundred families. And once we've hit that goal, my goal will be to free a thousand families. And once we hit that goal, like that's the mission, that's the goal. And so I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you, Danielle. I really appreciate you taking the time, Queen. I know that you could have been anywhere during this time, you know, and you decided to be here. So that really means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Absolutely, Queen. Bye for now. Bye-bye.